Zoo review episode six. So yeah, it turns out the wolf guy was the one who crashed his car to kill the mother cell guy. I guess so he could steal the mother cell for his own mysterious purposes. So that's where we're at with that. So in the last episode, they were making a big deal about this poison that the mayor of Rio wants to drop on the city to kill the bats, even though it's gonna make everyone in the city sick. It's like chemotherapy. It kills the cancer, but attacks everything else as well. You do realize you'd be risking the health of every single living thing in Rio. And we're considering that very issue. But you've seen the bats. People are frightened. Don't you think they'd rather be scared than like sick and dying and being killed by poison? Come on, you can't be serious. So the heroes are like trying to convince the mayor to not drop the poison, but then in, in this episode, she just decides to fucking do it anyway. Is that what it's supposed to do? So they're like immune to poison? They're immune to the freezing cold and a poison. I thought that the mother cell or the demented pupil or whatever just made the this way the animals, animals see the world is not now changing. People. What used to be a friend is now an enemy. Made them hate people. Is it possible that the bat was attracted but to my phone maybe or to it also technology? Made, being attracted to something hate electricity. is not the same thing as attacking it. But it, it also makes them immune to poison. So while everyone in Rio is getting poisoned, back in the USA we have these guys. Uh, and they're still on the hunt for the wolf friend. You have a recent photo of Evan Lee? I like that they refer to him as Evan Lee, like every time. They're on a, like a familiar, like first, you know, name basis with the guy. Evan Lee. They don't refer to him by like his last name or as that weird wolf dude. And then Evan Lee. You've been in an accident. You're okay. Not what do you see? So now the FBI dude is gonna like hypnotize the blogger in order to retrieve her unconscious memory of uh, Evan Lee's license plate because I guess she like hit her head during the car crash so, so she didn't remember but she did remember. He doesn't really hypnotize her. It, it's just like he kind of just tells her to remember. Just try to remember. They should have just had her like randomly remember the license plate. It, it would have been equally stupid and wasted a lot less of my time. Oh. <laughs> you just answer the door in a towel at a hotel. You have no idea who it is gonna be. Whatever. What? They have not had like any chemistry this whole show. There was no lead up to that. Oh, you're in a towel now. Huh. Guess we should fuck. I have a towel fetish. See a woman wrapped in a towel, I just... I got a penetrator. Anyway, back in Rio, science guy and spy have been taken captive by some local criminals. Uh, and they're gonna, I guess, help them fight the bats or... do if something are to who the bats. you say you are, explain this to me. So until yesterday, the mice would run when people came in through the door. These little guys, they probably think they're better off with us than with the bats. Why wouldn't the rats run into the walls in their tunnels or something? That doesn't make sense at all. These Why would guys, the rats not wanting to go with outside with the bats, bats make them like not afraid of people? So until There's yesterday, plenty of other places the rats would run when people came in through the Besides, door. Besides like on top of this guy's foot? What the fuck? These little guys, they probably think they're better off with us than with the bats. Is he fucking around or like is does he just terrible? All this guy's credibility as a scientist is gone for me. If we don't find a way to get rid of the bats, he's gonna kill us. Well, whose fault is that? Genius idea. Trying to steal Don Corleone's antenna. Don Corleone? That's the first gangster that comes to mind with this guy? Is, is Don is the dude from The Godfather. We can't do anything about the bats. Because we don't have any supplies. Do you want us to fix this or not? You need to tone down the sass. Hey, buddy. Any chance we can get a little less lumbata? A lot more quiet? It just doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would, who would take sass with no retribution. It's like the writers can't bear for these characters to not be snarky for even like one second. Even when like it 
totally fucks the logic of what's happening in the show. Flavio will get you your supplies, and then he will watch you. Good. Maybe he'll learn something. You should keep him on a tighter leash. I mean, I don't know if y'all have seen City of God, but... <clears throat> I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably like a more accurate representation of what's... of like how shit's going down. You know, because it was made by the Brazilian. Not CBS. They don't speak that good Portuguese, first of all, and they don't look Brazilian too. They got some people with dark skin and they didn't think that that's gonna be... Brazilian thing, but not. And the big boss there, he looked more white than, than Brazilians. But his right hand, I don't remember his name, the, the little one, he, he looked a lot of Brazilian, but he didn't speak at all, man. He was more Spanish than Brazilian there. Like, it's just like, not good at all. So they have this plan, they build the machine to the attract the bats, and expects bats to but come. it doesn't work, and then it does the opposite of what it's supposed to, backwards. but they wanted it to do that so that the bats would go away. Oh, fuck that, dude. That's like... It's fucking Birdemic level. Terrible. I mean, I wanna think it worked anyway. Hey, what about the poison? Why aren't they being poisoned right now? I thought they dropped the poison. Way earlier. No one is... is being affected? You'd be risking the health of every single living thing in Rio. A giant cloud of... Toxic chemical gas was just dumped on the city and no one even like reacts to it And of course no episode of zoo would be complete without the obligatory subplot involving a, a random person you have never heard of I just don't believe that she wouldn't hear that bear. It was breathing very loudly louder than the sound of her walking and it seems improbable Improbable What the fuck? Where the fuck did that bear come from? Was it hiding underneath the tiles of the floor? Or what the f- Alright, I'm gonna break this scene down. So the geography of the kitchen is established through a series of, of shots from various angles that are uh, put together in such a way that it uh, kind of hides or obscures the fact that the scene makes no sense. Uh, spatially, but when you put together where everything is in the kitchen, uh, the layout is something like this. On one side of the room we have the refrigerator, on the other side we have the patio door, and then we have the sink uh, in the middle as a reference point. So the lady goes over to the patio door, closes it, then she walks back to the fridge, gets her wine, has a drink of wine, opens the fridge again, gets out her green beans, then she walks back over to the patio door, to the cupboard, so how did the bear get between her and the refrigerator? In order for the bear to be standing there, it would have had to be standing in front of the fridge at the same time as the lady was based on the bear's walking speed from the previous scene. And also somehow the bear just stops like breathing for this whole scene. In the last scene it was breathing, it's like panting like super loud. But I guess it doesn't matter because she still didn't hear it. <clears throat> Oh, everything worked out, and hey, she's fine. She's just got massive wounds all over her body, but she doesn't need any help walking, or doesn't really even seem to be in pain. Maybe that was the bear's blood that just sprayed onto her. Who knows? No one really gets hurt in zoo. They either die, or are virtually unaffected by pain. In episode one, we had the intelligence lady who like apparently had injured her leg after falling off the cliff, but then was like walking fine in the next scene. Uh, the second episode, we have the token non-white character. He gets like mauled by lions and like left in a tree for like a whole night, but he's pretty much fine. Like no, no lingering after effects. He's running around like in the next episode, like the next fucking day. How about when this happened and no one's face was sliced by shards of broken glass? These guys are just running around in fucking like nuclear radiation or something. No, no negative effects at all, ever. 
Science guy gets whacked in the stomach with a fucking baseball bat. One scene later, no fucking problems. And they, they have like multiple scenes where they talk about how horrible this poison is that they're going to drop on the bats and how it's going to make everyone in the city sick. And then when they drop it on the bats, not only does it not kill the bats, but it doesn't make anyone sick and they never fucking talk about it again. You can't create drama by putting the characters in physical danger if the actual threat of physical danger is negligible. The fact that everyone seems impervious to physical pain honestly makes me doubt their ability to feel emotional pain or to even feel emotions at all. It's a it's a cartoonish portrayal of humanity, but not in like a stylized or interesting way, just in a lazy way. It's not compelling, it's not relatable, and it's not good.